how to measure your beats per minute. You'll see it abbreviated as BPM, that stands for beats per minute. How many times per minute is your heart beating? And that's going to be especially important to know going into the gym so that you can make sure when you're doing your cardio fat burning exercise that you are indeed, in fact, that you are in the fat burning zone. Because if your heart rate is too high, then your body could potentially be burning off muscle. <clears throat> and we don't want your body to burn off muscle. We want your body to be burning off fat when you're doing the exercise specifically to burn off fat, which is the cardiovascular machines. And so you've got to make sure your heart rate is in the proper zone so that it targets the fat as a source of energy and to be burning that fat for energy rather than burning your muscles for energy. We want to preserve muscles, grow and build muscles, and we want to get rid of the fat. That is my goal. And so if that's your goal, again, maybe what I do will work for you. Maybe not. You have to try it for yourself. This is what I do, this is what has worked for me. And it has been, it has proven time after time, it has proven to be true that exercising in uh, my target fat burning heart rate zone has been effective in reducing my body fat percentage. So how to measure your heart rate. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I do it. There are also various devices out there that will do it for you. There's the, the Fitbit and there's other types of watches and things that you can wear on your wrist that will measure your uh, pulse rate. There's actual heart rate monitors and uh, you can use any of those. The more things you use to measure something, um, the better because then you have all of that data to compare itself to to further ensure its accuracy. It's like okay, all you need first to know is where can you find your pulse? Your pulse is the beat from your heart and you can feel the beat from your heart in your arteries. Your arteries are the blood vessels in your body that carries oxygen <clears throat> away from the lungs and heart into the rest of your body, sending oxygen into the rest of your body to be used. So arteries are sending the blood out and away from the heart into the body. The veins carry the blood back to the heart. So you're going to be able to feel the heart beat in the arteries. One very common place is on the wrist, but I kind of have a hard time finding that. The easiest place for me is the carotid arteries, which there's one on each side of your neck, or there should be. They're, they're pretty big arteries, and it's usually should be really easy to feel the pulse. Um, they recommend most sides just take two fingers and find it um, on either side of your neck like this. I actually find both of them by putting my thumb and my fingers like this. Probably not supposed to do it that way. You're probably just supposed to do that. But anyways, I like to feel both of them. And don't press too hard because that could mess with uh, your biological process of blood transportation. So just gently find the pulse to where you can feel it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe you can even see. Hold on. Can you see it? Anyways, so you're going to feel it. You should feel it. I hope you feel it. If you're alive and you need a clock of some kind that shows the seconds ticking by. You could use a stopwatch, but I just, I'm always on some type of cardio machine and so I'm able to just watch that machine as the seconds are ticking by. And I either start counting at 30 seconds or zero on the minute, where it shows the, the seconds and the minutes. <clears throat> and I count for 30 seconds and then I multiply by two. So I'm going to do it right now.
Okay, I got 44. So my heart beat 44 times in 30 seconds. I'm going to multiply 44 by 2. That makes 88. Therefore, my heart beat 88 times in 60 seconds. And that's high for me because this is, should be a resting heart rate. It's usually lower, but I'm kind of nervous because I'm making this video and your emotions can actually affect your heart rate. But you probably know that. So normally my heart rate, my resting heart rate's a little lower than that, but it's 88 right now. And um, <clears throat> that's how I, I measure my heart rate. So take some time to practice measuring your beats per minute. And you'll see how easy it becomes. And it's going to prove to be a very useful skill as you move towards reaching your fitness goals.